is what happened round 12 of the FIM Motocross World Championship, the MXGP of Czech Republic in Lockett. MX2 race one after overnight rain. Yago Kitz streaked across the foxhole shot line for the sixth time this season. Liam Evertso got caught in a first turn crash. He was a long time getting up, but he would eventually come home in 17th place. Meanwhile, Kevin Hawkman was in second. Sasha Kuna was in third. A few corners later, though, there was a bit of a, a kerfuffle in the fifth turn, causing Lucas Kuna to go the long way round, and he emerged just behind Adamo. Simon Langenfelder in no mood for hanging around after his poor start, got himself quickly into six with a move on Emil Weckman. Meanwhile, Adamo just found his way past Rick Elsinger, who left the door open, and he came back and put the Italian on the ground. He was then down in 19th place, and on his way through, passing Braceres, he was deemed to have overtaken on waved yellows the other side of the jump. His fate would be uh, dealt two positions docked by the end of the race. That was Kai Wolf going down the inside of Camden McClellan. That put uh, Wolf up in the fourth place, and then towards the end of the same lap, Langenfelder also went through. McClellan now down into sixth place. Wolf eventually got himself into third with that move on Sasha Kunin, and again, Sam Simon Langenfelder also found his way past the young Belgian to move into fourth. Kunin would finish in fifth. Adamo wasn't done yet, he eventually got himself into 11th, but he would be docked those two positions for jumping on those wave yellows, eventually come home in 13th. Wetman briefly got past McClellan, but the South African closest to us in the black helmet responded again and got himself back into 6th. Emil Wetman was 7th, Lucas Kunin with 8th. But for the ninth time this year, Yago Kietz, a winner in race 1 from Hawkmo and DeWolf. MX2 race two. This time it was Langenfelder from the center of the gate. The 516 crossing the Foxhole shot line for the fourth time this year. Another good start for the 122 of Camden McClellan. Liam Evans was also up there initially. As they came out of the first couple of corners, it was Mike Werder in second. Liam Evans was there in, in fourth or fifth place. Sasha Kunin already into third. As he went around the outside of Werder, that put him into second place. DeWolf buried in around about 10. McClellan emerged here in third place as Guerda started to fall back. A mistake for Kiertz allowed Adamo to jump up the inside into four. And then Adamo was on the charge and he quickly found his way past McClellan to move into third and then Coonan to move in a second a couple of laps later. And then he had his eyes set on the lead. Kiertzo eventually found his way past McClellan, who was having a fantastic Grand Prix. And he even went after the 79 of Sasha Kunin to pick off four just after the halfway stage, the Honda JM Racing rider. Changed for the lead on lap 11. Adamo down the inside of Langenfelder. And from there, he was never headed. Meanwhile, Liam Evans eventually got the better of his young teammate, Sasha Kunin. Went around the outside to move into sixth. And then Kaida Wolf on the final lap made this vital pass to move into fourth. Ahead of McClellan, and that got him a spot on the podium as well. But Adamo finally got his first career race win in race two from Langenfelder, Hitz, to Wolf, and McClellan. But it was Hitz with third after winning race one who would take the overall Grand Prix victory. So here it's on top then here in Lockett with a 1-3, Langenfelder a 4-2, DeWolf on the podium with a 3-4. But Adamo now leads by 35 points. It was 26 at the start of the weekend. Of course, no Thibaut Beniston who went down in the qualifying race. But Adamo leads the championship from DeWolf and Kiet. But that was your podium. Kiet, Langenfelder, DeWolf. Adamo did make an appearance, but only to collect the championship leader's red plate. All smiles as we head to Belgium for the Italian. If I don't feel like really comfortable on the track, uh, I don't want to take too many risks. And uh, yeah, it was a good day, still the overall win, so I'm really happy about the weekend. MXGP race one, Borge Prado, who else? Over the foxhole shot line ahead of everybody else. A welcome return for Tim Geiser. He was about seventh or eighth as he emerged through the first turn. But watch at the end of the straight. Prado doesn't triple. 
And by the time we exit turn two, guess what? We've got a new leader, Roman Fevre, the guy who's chasing him down in the championship. Koldenhoff was there in third, Philander in fourth, but not for long because C worked from fifth to fourth towards the end of the lap. Just behind them, the Chevens in six, Geiser and Fernandez. Fernandez then got the better of Geiser to move into seventh place. Just through the wave section, getting a better drive through the turn. Then he went after Evans and took six from the Australian. Fernandez would come home six, Evans seven. Jeremy Van Horvig filling in for Paul Jonas on the standing construct Honda. Worked his magic to move into eighth, putting Geiser down to ninth ahead of Benoit Pacharel. And then a front wheel just breaking traction on the downside there, forced Koldenhoff. A little wide, Siwa was able to capitalise, found his way past his teammate to move into third. Then he caught Prado, who then made a mistake here on the exit, and that was Siwa into second with about six laps to go. Prado would come home in third, ahead of Koldenhoff and Belandre. But it was Roman Fevre for the fourth time this year who was victorious from Jeremy Siwa and Prado. GP race two. This time Jeremy Siwa with the foxhole shot. Eight in the back now for the Yamaha man. Prado tried to go with him, but just ran wide, which is said in, which is what he said he wouldn't do after the qualifying race win on Saturday. That opened the door for Siwa to have an easy run down towards turn two. Prado did emerge in second though. Third was Fevra, fourth was Valandron. A mistake there from Prado allowed. Fevre to get the better of him at the bottom of the hill to move into second. This was lap two. Siwa disappearing ahead of him, look. And Philandre just keeping a watch in brief. Eventually, the number 10 went by Prado on lap three to move into third. And then, after catching Jeremy Siwa, Siwa thought he would keep the Frenchman to the outside. He cut back, though, and had the last lap on lap six with this move to take him into the lead. But then, Siwa fell from second, middle rider in shot, exiting the corner. He tipped over, Philandre lucky to avoid him. Prado also went through, Siwa was now back in four. And how expensive would that mistake be later on in the race? Well, you're about to find out. Koldenhoff got the better of uh, Fernandez for six, those two duking it out for six and seven. This was the second crash for Fevre from the lead. He fell here, picked himself up, and then fell again. And all of a sudden, he was down in fourth place. Talking about that mistake from Siwa earlier, when he was second and fell, he could have won the race in the Grand Prix, but in the end, Calvin Villandre was well-placed to win his sixth race career win. Prado was second, Siwa third, Fevre fourth, and it was Fevre who would cross the line in that fourth place to win for the third straight Grand Prix. A win and a fourth then for Fevre to nail the Czech Grand Prix, his third victory here in Lockett. Prado second with 3-2, Siwa with a 2-3. Belandre just missing the podium. Prado then extending his lead to 104 points over February this weekend. Siwa, third, 45 adrift. Fernandez and Koldenhoff ran out the top five. But Jorge Prado, all smiles as we head to round 13 in Belgium as he continues to lead by considerable margin. Yeah, I'm really happy to win because, uh, yeah, I make a mistake second moto and uh, I was leading comfortable. Comfortably, but uh, yeah, make my own mistake, crash, and then stand up, went on the bike, crash again. So uh, yeah, it was hard, but uh, yeah, I could capitalize still and uh, finish four overall um, and uh, win the GP. So uh, I'm really happy.